Take out the cap washing logbook, which is located in the drawer next to the sink. Enter the cap washing information, including the names of the washer and inspector, the cap color, and check marks for the completed steps. Put on the face shield located above the sink. This is to protect you from getting any material in your eyes that may splash back at you during the cap washing process. If you want to protect your clothes, then you should put on the raincoat. Clip the end of the cable on the cabinet handle above the counter to the right of the sink. Also, take the reference electrode, looping that on top of the cabinet handle, ensuring that both the connections are safe from water. Remove any tape and bobby pins from the cap and place the cap inside out and put it onto the plastic frame, making sure to pull back onto the plastic tab and then place it into the sink for cap washing. Turn on the water jet by moving the lever up. Adjust the pressure to provide a strong jet of water. The water jet has a splash guard on it to prevent splashback of water and other materials. Go row by row with the water jet to remove clumps from the bottom of the electrodes. Going row by row makes it easier to keep track of what electrodes you've already hit. Also use a jet to clean the reference and ocular electrodes. Turn the cap inside out to reveal the top of the electrodes. And once again, go row by row with the water jet to remove the gel clumps, making sure that you don't avoid any electrodes. Now place the wash tub in the sink and place the cap into the wash tub and get the inspector to come and inspect the cap. The inspector should wash the cap row by row with the water jet a second time, ensuring that all the gel clumps are out. Following the same procedure as before, turn the cap inside out and go in row by row. Now carefully supporting the hat, take off the cap from the plastic frame and leave it in the wash tub with the electrodes face up. Make sure the sink is plugged. Then place a small drop of ivory soap into the sink under the running water. Let the water fill up about an inch or so just to cover the cap that's in the wash tub. You can fill the sink with the cap and wash tub in it. Slowly move the wash tub left and right in the soapy water to wash it. Move the wash tub up and down to further wash it and shake off the gel, making sure all the gel clumps are gone. Then drain the sink of the soapy water and tilt the wash tub to the right to drain the water from the wash tub. Do not let any electrodes get snagged. Then rinse the cap in the wash tub with clean and running water, making sure to get the ocular electrodes as well. Then disinfect all electrode surfaces with the disinfectant cavicide, which can be found under the sink. Make sure the expiration date is still intact and then spray the cavicide all over the cap and wait at least three minutes. After the three minutes are up, keep the cap in the wash tub and rinse the cap under hot water. Then squeeze a chin strap to remove as much water as possible. Gently pat the cap and chin strap dry with paper towels. After you're done drying, take it over to the drying rack. Carefully transfer the cap from the wash tub to the dryer. Put your hand under the cap to support it. And then set the timer for an hour and a half. Unclip the cap and the coil of the wires underneath the rack away from the cap so the water does not drip onto the wires. Then don't forget to remove the reference electrode from the handle. Dry it with the paper towel if necessary and then wrap it back up, put it back in its box. Once you're done, just clean up around the sink and put the wash tub back against the sink to make sure it dries out. Once everything is back where it needs to be and it's all tidy, you're all good to go.